Good morning, cryptocurrency family. David here with Porsche Swoop, back with another cryptocurrency update. Does first or second place matter? That's gonna be the topic of today's video. And uh, I first wanted to start off by saying thank you to all the people that have been subscribing and have been commenting in the videos. I really do appreciate that. It is, it is a very cool feeling to know that there is a little bit of interaction and some support from the XRP community and the cryptocurrency community uh, for, for someone like myself who's just starting a small YouTube channel. So I really do want to thank you guys. So today's conversation. I do not personally believe that who sits in first or second or third place really matters. Right now, we're in a new phase of this technology where utility matters, okay? The question is, is what is your coin doing to improve the world, okay? And as we know, XRP and the Ripple company are working very hard to improve the financial industry, the cross-border remittance payment systems, and the just the way that money flows around the world. We can receive an email in a few seconds. We should be able to send money in a few seconds. So we've got to look at all of these emerging markets, the possibility of the unbanked. There is so much future for XRP that we almost, I actually want to start thinking of XRP as already in second place, despite the fact that it sits clearly under Ethereum and that it's having the hardest time crossing that gap and actually becoming second place for any sustainable amount of time longer than an hour or two or a minute or two because as fun as it will be to sign on to coinmarketcap.com and see xrp in second place those are just temporary bits of joy and positivity there's 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 nothing forward with us sitting a half a percent over ethereum we're going to have to see a, a serious move to the point where we gap Ethereum and we start to push in on BTC. And that's going to be when you start to see the utility of the XRP coin is actually yielding itself in the price and that it's not just a FOMO driven buy up or, you know, a, a speculative buy up in the price because those, for the most parts, have tops and find their uh, resistance levels and start to retrace. So it's hard to be in at that time if you're not long on the currency, if you're not long on the asset. So that's one thing is you have to kind of know which coin and why you believe is gonna have the most utility. So like I said, second and third place, the fight right now is only the fight because Ethereum hasn't been pushed down and XRP hasn't found its utility and its reason to start pumping up. Not in a FOMO way, but in a real utility way. Ethereum's utility is out there. Ethereum is a platform for developers, for dApps to build and to put their product out. XRP is going to be all of that and, and above. So that's why my bet is going on XRP. And it is bet. It's a gamble. We could call it what it is. It's a speculation, okay? Nothing is guaranteed in this market. No profit, no loss, nothing. Another thing I wanted to get into today was Coinbase. And again, we're going to go with the theme of places. A lot of people have been talking about Coinbase. People really hate Coinbase. Thinking Crypto hates Coinbase, and he is very adamant about it their disdain for the things that Coinbase has done. And you, if you try to look at it from Coinbase's perspective, I believe they're doing everything that they can to remain a top tier exchange. And a company that's looked upon as a stability in the market. That's why you see them waiting this long to add more coins. That's why you see them... Well, they played some games with the way they've released some coins before, but now you see with um, listing, uh, their, their new listing policies, everything is going to change for Coinbase. And if you think that it matters that Binance at this point is a few places above, it doesn't matter, okay? It really doesn't matter because at some point, once Coinbase, let's just hype, use the hypothetical that tomorrow morning, Coinbase, during Swell, decides to add XRP to their, to their system. 
instantaneously Coinbase would be first place again, okay? Don't bet against Coinbase at this point. They have been in it the longest. They're an American exchange. They're working with regulators. They're trying everything they can to not just blow into the market and be like everyone else and just add the 2,000 coins that we have and just give everybody access to everything. Now, I trade on Binance. I can almost be worried that Binance allows some of the scam coins and some of the coins that the SEC might want to come in and regulate because that might be where Binance runs into some of their problems. Is in the fact that they list a coin that the SEC might actually deem as a problem. There could in lie some of the issues that are coming ahead for Binance if they don't actually start to tighten up some of the coins that they offer. And vice versa with Coinbase and with any of the other exchanges that exist, whether it be in America or Europe or Asia or anywhere in the world for that matter, in Malta, Switzerland. You guys really got to be focused. Don't be scared. Obviously, you should be scared if you invested too much money, but this market is evolving and everything is growing. Don't expect some crazy announcement at Swell today or tomorrow or leaked audio of Brad Garlinghouse from the conference or Bill Clinton from the conference. This is going to be for investors. This conference is for investors. It's not necessarily meant for the public, for the general investor like you and me. Okay, so yes, news will come out and Ripple will choose what they want to let us know. They will not let us know everything. You're going to have a room full of some of their biggest investors that are looking to hear some, I don't want to say inside information, but they want some news before we get it so that they have an opportunity to react to the way the markets are going to react. They want to be ahead of the announcement and not behind. So if you can imagine that with the with the within a month or so that X Rapid is supposed to be announced as live and the fact that Swell is going on today, you'd have to imagine that today at Swell, everybody's signing confidentiality agreements and they are not allowed to announce what XRP is going to be announcing to them. And Ripple, I'm sorry, Ripple is going to be announcing to them. This is going to be a secret meeting for the most part. A lot of this stuff will not get to your ears unless you are one of the flies on the wall. And we're not, unfortunately. Now, I might actually drive up to San Francisco later this afternoon and um, go up to Ripple HQ. Uh, obviously, I don't have a ticket, so they won't let me in. But I'm going to probably drive up to San Francisco, maybe stay there for the night, and tomorrow morning attempt to get uh, some uh, some attendees entering into the conference, uh, possibly being able to interview them or ask them some questions. Uh, obviously, we're going to miss the day where Bill Clinton is there and uh, Brad Garlinghouse is opening uh, speech. So I think there's going to be a lot of excitement built around today. But uh, tomorrow should be a lot of fun also. Uh, if you guys are in the San Francisco area and you're part of the XRP or Ripple community and you guys would love to meet with me at the uh, XRP, XRP, at the Ripple HQ in San Francisco, downtown San Francisco, I'd love to meet you guys. And uh, it should be pretty easy if you guys love I me. Mean, I live in, in LA, so I'm going to just take the drive. It should take me about five hours. But uh, if you guys have any suggestions, any places that I should go, any comments or concerns or debates or uh, anything you want to say down below, please don't be shy and uh, go ahead and leave your comment. Definitely subscribe. Turn on the notification bell because that is, I guess, what everybody's telling you to do. Just remember that I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a simple guy giving you a simple definition of what I see happening in the cryptocurrency space. Thank you guys very much for tuning in. And if you made it to this point in the video, you guys are rock stars and I really do appreciate it. Thanks and I hope you all have a really amazing day.